let's now look at air quality index. That is a tool used for, for reporting monitoring information. The measurements are set up in locations where a lot of people spend their time and they are maintained by local uh, authorities or bodies such as Helsinki Regional Environmental Service Authority, also known as HSY. The monitoring measurements are typically very standard measurements that are done at several locations. And the aim is to see that regulations are met, such as the emissions of uh, traffic, and also for informing the public what kind of air quality is expected. This way, sensitive people, such as people with asthma, can uh, decide when they will spend time outside or if it would be better for them to stay indoors. The air quality index is a simple tool on comparing the quality of air. It can be given as a number ranging, let's say, from 1 to 5 or 1 to 300, or it can be a color or verbal descriptional rating. In Finland, a system that starts from good, reported in green, to satisfactory, fair, poor and very poor, is used. Other countries can use different scales, so they can also range from good to unhealthy for sensitive groups, very unhealthy or even hazardous. The air quality index is based on measurements of trace gases, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, ozone, carbon monoxide and sometimes other gases, as well as aerosol particle mass concentrations. Uh, these different pollutants are measured and then each pollutant is given an index rating and the highest rating per hour is given for that hour. You can read in detail about the Finnish air quality index system from the HSY website. In Finland, air quality is defined for every hour based on the different pollutants that are measured. And the pollutant with the highest index value, so that means the lowest air quality, defines the air quality of that moment. So sometimes, for instance, in the spring, the air quality can be determined by the uh, aerosol particulate matter. And at other times, another pollutant is defining it. For instance, the concentration of ozone or NO2. It is good to notice that different range values are used for pollutants in different countries. So if you want to compare the air quality in, let's say, London and Helsinki, you first need to understand how the air quality index is defined in each country.